What up, everybody? This Prophet Mahmoud represent all the cast offs worldwide. Y'all don't know what a cast off is. A cast off is being who you are, even when it's unpopular, when your thoughts and what you stand for is different in the crowd. You are a cast off, and shout out to all the cast offs worldwide. Once again, I represent the cast offs, those who are who they are, even when it's unpopular. When your thoughts and what you stand for is different than the crowd, you are a cast off. And I am Prophet Mahmoud, once again, representing all the cast offs worldwide. And y'all know my favorite slogan is lead with love and respect. If we lead with love and respect, the world will be a way better place. Not lead with our opinion, not lead with our position of power, not lead with Bible scriptures, but lead with love and respect. And speaking of lead with Love and respect and not Bible scriptures. Jesus led with love and respect. Jesus, when when he fed the people, he didn't thump them over the head with scriptures. He fed the people. When he healed the people, he healed them. He didn't go thump them over the head with scriptures. He did his work on this earth and then he fed their spirit. And so too many times people leave with thy shall not do this, thy shall not do this. And we pick our thy shall not. We pick what we don't do and then point out what somebody else do. And y'all know this going to lead around for me being criticized for celebrating Christmas and holidays with my son. And people, thy should not celebrate, thy should not. But when you celebrate your birthday, that's not in the Bible, we not going in there. Why you celebrating your birthday? That's not scripture. When you got a new boyfriend, a new girlfriend, no one get under the comment like, there's nowhere in the Bible you should have a boy and a girlfriend because you shouldn't have sex till you get married. Nobody is doing that under your comments. But if you don't celebrate holidays, go do what you do. Why is you online looking at people celebrate their holidays and leaving comments? Do what you do. If that works for you, Go not celebrate your holidays, not being online, looking at somebody and thy should not do this. Thy should not do that, man. If that bringing peace and joy and making their kids happy, man, let them be. And if you doing what works for you, man, evidently you ain't enjoying not celebrating the holiday because you online looking at other people celebrate the holiday. If it offends you that much, just put your phone down and go do what you do. It's that simple. But we can't do that because we so, thine should not do that. Thine should not do this. You're not a prophet. Why is your name prophet? And I always have to tell super religious people, it's not one time that I said I am a prophet. That was my name standing on the corner, gang banging on the 1100 block of Belmont Avenue. And the guy named me prophet, bro. And that was a nickname. As a people being this like as a joke because I was always on the block hustling doing everything under the sun but I will always be preaching and shit like man we need to own our own neighborhoods and so man am I trying to hear that prophet fear of God stuff like that and so it was actually a slight and it became my real name bro my mama called me prophet my sister called me prophet my son if he ain't calling me daddy say prophet so it ain't me trying to say I'm more than what I am and so man. Those without seeing cast the first stone, that's one of the dopest things Jesus said to me, bro, when they was about to stone a lady caught in adultery. And so all those people, thy should not do this, thy should not do this. Jesus, what should we do? Because thy shouldn't do this. Jesus said, those without sin, y'all who don't sin, go ahead and stone her. And they had to look within like we all got sin. So they dropped their stones one by one by one. And y'all would get on the Internet. Thy should not celebrate pagan holidays. Thy should not do this. But you got a boyfriend that you having sex with or a girlfriend that you having sex with. And if you want to, thy should not, you shouldn't do that, bro. I do so much wrong in this world. I have did so much wrong. And if y'all know me, me celebrating a, ho a holiday should be the least of y'all worries, bro. Dead serious. Because the same people, thy should not do this. Man, we listen and cheer Tupac on when he talking about my fofo. Make sure all y'all kids don't grow. Don't one of you little niggas got sickle cell laughing at somebody with sickle cell. And guess what? We got Tupac up on our wall calling him the goat and then get online to somebody we don't know. Thy should not celebrate a holiday. Man, unlame yourself, bro. Unlame yourself. And so, nah, like... Man, if we worry, if you really trying 
to be the best version of you, which I am really trying to be the best version of myself. I'm trying to be the greatest dad ever. I am a single dad. You feel me? Like, I am a single father. I don't have a woman in my house. I don't have a girlfriend or like or nothing like that. So I have to wake my son up for school and make sure he got everything together. I have to do the homework with my son. I have to discipline my son. I have to read to my son. He has to read to me. I train. Y'all see my son, eight years old, shooting them baskets either here or good like that. He didn't get like that just because he was an eight-year-old miracle. I've been working with him. I take out that time. And so I have a lot going on. I run a business. Them God gave me a gift t-shirts. That's a business. And a, oh my God, it's a lot of work. Make it. Y'all see all the videos. I post that video how everybody, was, not everybody, but people was telling me how I inspired them and, uh, and how they love what I do. Y'all don't realize like I record hundreds of videos. It's so many videos y'all don't even see, but that take hours a lot of times for real. Uh, making the videos and have to edit them. That's a lot of, and I ain't gonna say a lot of work. Because I have a, a real job and that's a lot of work too. That's a lot of work. Making videos ain't a fuck a lot of work, but it's work. And so what I'm saying is at the same time, I love audio books. I listen to books. I read scriptures. I watch. What I'm saying is I have a lot of stuff going on and I don't have time to be on the internet Watching who celebrates something, then get on the comment. Why are you celebrating that? Or, oh, he said good morning. No, I'm not morning anything, Grand Rising. Evidently, man, you need some more shit to do in your life because you're worried about too many other people, bro. Why little young black boys out here dying, get murdered in the streets, and you worried about who the fuck's saying Grand Rising and who's celebrating holidays or not. For real, man, it's way, like, all the stuff going wrong in this world, right? Say say that Easter is a bullshit holiday. It is. I mean, keep it all the way 100, right? I just love bringing joy to my son, bro, because I know the family my son come from. Like, every male in my household is dead, bro. Big Fred, D.I., and Quincy died in 1992 when I was just a little boy, right? Then Fred's son, which is my nephew, get murdered, and Quincy's son get 35 to life, which is my other nephew, and just all my friends dead, all the generation under us dead, then all our nephews dead. Now all a lot of my friends' kids are getting killed, right? We got real issues going on. And so that's why it bothers me that these young boys is dying because it hit home. So when y'all see me doing community work, it's because that stuff affect me. And so we do breakfast in the community, dinner in the community, give away food. Give a, uh, my homeboy D Maze, they got the thing, they teaching the kids technology. And my homegirl Mia, she do feed and see the neighborhood. And I be a part of all this stuff, right? We throw the, well, you throw the city party. We really in the community, bro. And so for somebody to not even help out or give a helping hand or even care, but then get on the car, you son of a man. Man, unlame yourself. Like, how was that hurting you that people went to church on Sunday? Ain't nobody fighting in the church. Ain't nobody killing in the church. It's everybody under the same belief, singing songs and praising. And it's new people who coming in who usually wouldn't be a church about to get their life changed and about to make a change in their life. Why are you mad? Like, why are you mad? Why are you mad? And so, goodness gracious, why are you so mad that somebody, they ain't saying they killing. And the worst thing about me is people could be talking gang gang and blowing smoke in the thing and throwing gang signs and had a choppers up on the thing. And you won't say a thing, but you would get on somebody celebrating a holiday, being a parent and that offends you. Like, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just do not get it. Why is you worried about like... It's, so, it's kids out here dying, bro. It's real kids out here dying. And y'all worried about that. And so, I made a short... I mean, you know, on reels, you only got so much time. You feel me? So, you really can't get your whole point across. And so, um, I'm going to celebrate holidays, for real. I'm going to celebrate... I think it's bullshit holidays, for real. I ain't going to lie. I, be, I, I believe it's... But I'm going to celebrate it, you know, and I talked about why. Um, like I said, my nephews is dead, bro. Like little homies in my neighborhood is dead. My whole generation is dead. 
I sold crack at eight years old. I sold crack at eight years old. The first time I shot a gun, I was 12. The first time I started smoking weed, I was 10. I watched every big homie in my neighborhood disappear at the age 11, whether doing life in prison or going to prison or getting murdered, right? And so I got hair from a fiend at nine. Like, for real, I got my dick sucked by a fiend at nine years old. Dead serious. I got hair from a fiend at nine, ten years old. I ain't even had pubic hair yet. So that's how advanced and off the porch we was on my block, right? So you come from a neighborhood or a block like mine, your childhood and innocence is gone probably about five or six years old, right? That's why I'm so proud that I got my son out of my child just turned eight and he's still a real kid. Y'all see him smiling on here with them dimples and stuff like that. And so my son loved Christmas. He loved for me to take him through neighborhoods looking at Christmas lights, right? I am not about to be so deep that I'm going to take that smile off that little boy face because I done seen real trauma from little boys dying in neighborhoods, bro. I'm not going to not take my son to church. He loved going to church and uh, for the Easter events and stuff. like He loved it. I'm not going to not take my son trick-or-treating because... Like I'm not, and, and we do every sin under the sun, bro. We do everything wrong under the sun and then draw the line and take away from my kids' happiness. And I'm going to draw the line to this. And I have sex and I'm married. I cuss like a sailor. Uh, I will smack the dog shit out of you. All kind of stuff that I do wrong. And I'm going to draw the line at a holiday, bro. I done shot people, bro. Dead serious. And I'm going to draw the line at a holiday. Man, stop that stuff, bro. No. No, and because when I was rapping about, I grew up on the corner, man, y'all cheer that on, bro, I was a hero. And 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 rapping about stuff that drew kids in who end up dying and stuff, I ain't getting no flack. And I, I just don't, man. But to each his own, man. I just say, man, mind your fucking business, bro. I don't even like y'all anyway, bro. Like, all that deep stuff, I don't even like people like that. Like, if I say good morning, say that I meet a, a female, right? And I text her good morning. I like good morning. I love saying good morning. You know, I what am I morning about? To each his own. If Grand Rising make you happy, I'm not going to tell you to stop Grand Ri saying Grand Rising. I'm just not going to talk to you again. Like, I'm not going to text you again. Like, I like hearing good morning. It make me feel good when a woman say good morning, prophet. It made me it, it feel good. Like, it, and, and when I say good morning, I just like it. I love when my son, good morning, dad. I like it. It makes me feel good. And so I ain't about to be so deep. What am I mourning? It don't make me feel like I'm mourning when I say good morning, but that's just me. And I'm going I'm not gonna knock you for not saying that. But don't come like putting that on me. Like, man, go on. If you say grand wise after say good morning, I'm not gonna block you. I'm not gonna unfriend you. I'm not gonna debate, which I'm not just gonna talk to you no more. I just don't like deep people. I don't. And that's why I would not stop cussing. I made a I was about to make a conscious effort and I was about to stop cussing, right? Um, cause I had, I had went to church, right? I went to church and I was like, man, and a lot of people in the church knew me like, oh my God, you prophet. I love your videos. It's so inspirational, but I can't listen to you because you cuss, you know? Um, and then I was like, damn, should I stop cussing? Right. And I was like, I don't even like these people. I don't want to be around a goody two shoes. I am a corner. I'm from the corner, bro. That's who I'm put here for. I like crack addicts. I get all my game like a crack addict saved my life. Jeff T, when he taught us on Belmont Avenue, we don't have to like each other. We don't have to, uh, we don't even have to agree, but we do have to respect each other. Jeff T taught me that. And so my message is for young athletes and coaching the kids and being on the corner with the murderers and the gang bangers and bringing them into the light and teaching them Christ principles and about self-accountability. Man, not for you goody two-shoes ass people, bro. And so I thought about it. No, nah, man, I'm going to be who I am, bro. Like, man, I like cussing, man. I really like it. That's my drug of choice. I don't, I don't smoke weed or I don't drink. My drug of choice is I like cussing, bro. I'm dead serious. It made me tell stories better than everything. But, man, uh, when I thought about that, I thought about, um, yeah, should you stop cussing? Because, like, the you know, you turn off some religious people. And then I thought about it. Man, fuck them religious people, bro. I don't care about no religious people. It's my job to be on the corner bringing people who used to smoke crack and people who just came home for murder or the young boys who's about to murder. That's who my message is for. Not you holding it out deep people, bro. 
You feel me? And so I don't even want to be in no religious circles. And if you get on the comment, Vi should not celebrate pagan holidays. Vi should not. I don't even like you. Like, I don't even want to be in your circle for real. Because we pick and choose which Vi shit we going to put on people, bro. Man, ain't nobody following all that Vi shit. It's a too many fucking Vi's. Everything we do is a sin. And out of all the stuff we do wrong, we going to point out because somebody's celebrating a holiday. Man, come on, bro. That's the least of my worries, bro. I do and say some bullshit. I have did so much bullshit in my life. And if y'all actually knew me, that's why I like my old rap friends and people who actually knew me from the neighborhood. Because they not going to be up there with profit. Why you pegging it, selling to bring that pagan holiday? Man, they happy. I just got the fuck off the block, bro. I was an old ass nigga rotting his, way, not rotting his life away on the block, bro. Like for real, man. Uh, in a full-fledged gang war about my nephew. Some people happy I'm just do like, I'm not even rapping about the corner no more, but I am giving inspiration. And it's always, like, and so all that new religious motherfucking nah, I shall not celebrate a holiday. I don't even like y'all. Like, I don't even like y'all. And I'm glad y'all turning off the live because y'all offended. Good, because I don't even like y'all anyway, bro. And then all the Toledo, it is a lot of Toledo people. I really don't like y'all. I like my neighborhood. I'm a Southsider. I don't even like y'all outside the neighborhood for real. Like, y'all ain't never, like, stood, like, when they leave me off all these lists of pioneers until they, they never put my name. Y'all don't say, damn, Prophet was one of the first people to be on the radio. Y'all don't do that. When they made that bullshit rumor about me and took it out of context and spread, y'all shared that shit. I don't even like y'all. I'm from Belmont Avenue on the South Side. So, all that, I don't even like y'all in the city for real. I never said I'm a Tali, I'm a South Sider, bro. All the religious people, I don't like y'all either, bro. Dead serious. And I'm not mad or nothing, but I'm saying I'm not even for y'all. For real. So you could die should not somewhere else, man. For real. And the reason I'm about to bring up King Vine and FBG Duck in here, right? Why it bothered me so much that people... I shouldn't. It shouldn't even bother me, but it did. And I ain't even gonna lie. Because I get negative comments and negative messages all day, every day. But the reason it bothered me so much that people would get under my comments and say, why you die, I should not celebrate this, right? My nephew, Lil Fred, got killed in 2013. And I want to say Tay-Tay. You know, Tay-Tay was like a nephew to me too. He got killed, I want to say 13. Or it might have been 12. I can't remember. But the other side of town, you know, who was responsible for they homies made songs disrespecting Tay, right? And all the fake positive people, the Bible thumpers, the black lives, man, all this. Man, they were sharing that song, bro. They were sharing that song about them guys disrespecting my nephew, right? They didn't Bible thump or none of that. They cheered it on. And they cheered it on when Bomb made through there, through there, and it called, and like a lot of people died behind that, and y'all cheered that on, right? And some of the same people who cheered that on about them making that song about my nephew was on the comments talking about thy should not celebrate holidays. But you just shared a song about them bragging about killing my nephew. And that's why I took it so personal for real. That affected me. And that's why my heart goes out to Tuka Mom. You know, like King Von and uh not his, like King Von and Chief Keith and Lil Dirt. They smoking on Tuka and people really thought that was a strand of weed, right? So y'all will rap King Von song, mocking FBG duck, smoking on Tuka, and you niggas will sing along and smoke on Tuka, right? And y'all would King Von, and, and, and when they get on these platforms and brag about the murders, y'all call them steppers, and he's a demon, and y'all like this, and with demon emojis and all this, and cheering that shit on. And y'all will get under a comment and be offended about somebody celebrating a holiday while you cheering this on. And so y'all see how it hit home because I've been through a, a, a nephew dying and being disrespected in my. And so I know how Tuka Mama feel and FBG Duck Mama feel when y'all sharing that and singing along. And then y'all mad about somebody celebrating a holiday. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, man. I just don't feel that, man. I just don't feel it. I just don't feel it. We will rap Tupac. My faux fo make sure all y'all he kids don't grow. But I can't say good morning because I'm not morning anything. Or I can't say dreadlock. What am I dreading? But we will rap that shit. 
Murder, murder, kill, kill, but I can't say Dre a lot. Man, get the fuck out of here. I just don't like y'all deep people, bro. Because them deep people is never there when we feed in the community, right? And so if we take a picture of us feed in the community, right, the deep people going to say, Christ said, don't show and you give it. But we actually showing this to offset some of the bullshit like that. It is people doing work in the community. And you can see this. So we need help because it's us, two people feeding a thousand people and overwhelmed people fighting for place by the time they get their places cold. I mean, cold. So we can't use the extra hand. So we have to show you the work. And then you Bible thumpers who get mad because somebody's celebrating a holiday. You niggas get mad because somebody's saying good morning. You get mad at Dre a lot. You get mad at people posting the community work they do. But ain't gonna do nothing but sit on the internet and comment. In, bro like i just don't like y'all because y'all not gonna do nothing y'all just sit back watch and criticize for real and i'm glad y'all tuning off i'm glad you offended because i don't like you anyway for real dead serious man so i was on the phone right with a young lady a brilliant mind yesterday right it was like therapy. I, I mean, I like you know. Uh, it, it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot for real. Period. It taught me a lot, and why I be so passionate about what I stand on, and it kind of. Conf- I, I didn't know why I care about certain stuff so much, but everything that I care about and fight for is a deep root why, and a lot of that shit is parent issues. <laughs> For real, the reason I be so hard on young males about being total self-accountable, I don't want to tell you why because I don't want to offend, you know what I'm saying? But like, because I've been that child when somebody neglect the responsibility and they just make every bullshit excuse. Like, why? Instead of just saying, I should have did better, so let's move on in life. But just every weak ass, non-accountable excuse, so it made me resent punk dudes like that and so i be trying to teach young men always be self-accountable that's why i be so hard on the self-accountable and i didn't realize that and then another thing like um why i be so hard about like when people uh be grand rising me to death and stuff like that because i've witnessed a lot of those deep people share the songs about King Von them disrespecting Tuka and share them songs about them Northside dudes disrespecting my nephew and then get on here talking about, I can't say good morning, man, but you just share the song where he said, I'm smoking on my ops, name it, name the guy they killed, smoking on them so his mama could hear it, bro. But we gonna draw the line at good morning and celebrate holidays. I know it's offensive. I I know y'all deep, bro. I know it. Like it's cool. It's all good. It's all good, and it's all good, man. Um, but that's that shit triggered. That shit really triggered me. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of stuff don't even bother me, but that bothered me how so many people was mad about that. Um. Um. But this live y'all seeing, it ain't gonna be on Instagram no more. Cause I'm not gonna repost it. So if y'all want to see this live, and y'all, I'm, I forgot, I'm on two phones. I'm on Instagram and I'm on Facebook. Um, so if y'all want to see this live again, y'all gonna have to go on YouTube because I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. But so all right. So somebody, I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even, uh, I shouldn't even talk about this, but I am. Cause some people who actually know me, like, what's your problem with dogs? Like, why? Like, you know, and they really know me. Y'all don't know that I'm really not a dog guy, and I'm really jealous of dogs. I'm really jealous of dogs, right? And so somebody said something about a dog, and I said, "Fuck them dogs," right? <laughs> and so a lot of people go, "I took that shit down." Like, oh, like, cause I know my page is about to get struck again, cause the PETA people and all that start, and. But it's a deep resentment, and I'm jealous of dogs. And I know this sounds crazy because I know I went left field, right? I'm going to tell y'all why. I grew up with a guy. grew up across the street from me. His name was Johnny Jordan. Whenever y'all get a chance, Google Johnny Jordan, Toledo, Ohio, right? 1997. He was on CNN, A&E, all those crime channels, right? Um, 
I don't want to get all into the backstory because uh, his sisters be watching me, and they uh, and I don't I, I don't want to them to re I just don't. I, it might be too, but they lived a fucked up. They had like if you think you was poor, you ain't never seen nothing like this, bro. Like they lived in the garage behind somebody. The garage got, got tore down, and Johnny was under the rubble in the garage to stay warm. And so Johnny ended up going to a foster home and killing his foster mom. And, all right, but Johnny Jordan ended up, like right now, Johnny Jordan got life in prison for killing his foster mom, right? That was a childhood friend of mine. And so they got a book about Johnny Jordan and everything, right? Y'all, Whenever y'all get a chance, Google Johnny Jordan. And like, you know, Johnny Jordan went to jail in 1997. I was, we were seniors in high school, I forgot, we was in high school. And so uh, when Johnny did that, Johnny was a little younger than me, right? They got books about him and everything, just so y'all know what I'm talking about. And so this is where my uh, jealousy of dogs come in, right? So what Johnny did was horrific, but I feel bad for Johnny because I know what Johnny been through, even though it was wrong. And so I always, even though I, I'm a gang member, right? But I always had a heart that I had a compassion for like orphanages and I always fed hungry people or always put my money in like basketball he's always cared man I, and it's hypocritical because i'm game banging at the same time i'm coaching the kids at the community center but that's who i always been right i always cared and i thought i was game banging for a righteous cause to protect the neighborhood and make sure none of my homies get mistreated by the other side it was all stupid shit for real but but anyway we'll go where the dogs come in right so when Johnny was going through that, it was a thing like, damn, that's going to mess up the uh, the foster home system. And so it's going to be a lot of people afraid to adopt kids. This was in 1997. So I don't want y'all, well, I ain't afraid. I'm going to talk about this was 97. That was 30 years ago or how many years ago, right? So um, so we was watching some and they were showing all the homeless babies in Ohio who nobody would take in. Little beautiful black babies who nobody wouldn't take in, right? And it was hard. Like A lot of people just wasn't adopting black babies, right, at that time. And so I remember I'm up at night. This way before, we didn't have cable. And this before everybody had Netflix and a thousand channels. We didn't have about three channels to watch. So it was late night. And this dog commercial came on about adopt a dog. And it showed dogs looking all sad, like, then it showed white people adopting them, tongue kissing their dogs and shit like that, and the dogs. And then, um, and then I just thought about they don't even have this shit on the commercial. Like these little kids in these cities ain't got nowhere to go. And so I'm like, man, fuck them dogs. We treat dogs better than people, right? And so I remember like feeling like that, like fuck them dogs, bro. It's real people ain't got nowhere to go, and dogs walking around with fucking house shoes on outside, and y'all like. And so it was like, man, fuck them dogs. And then I never forget, right? Uh, so when I had got stabbed, I got stabbed in front of a thousand people because it was a fight at a big club and stuff, right? Big event. And I just remember on the internet, it was so many cheering from the other side of town because they thought I was dead. Like, yeah, rest in piss, donut. That's what that's the derogatory word towards our game back then you know what i'm saying like rest of piss donut and all this laughing you know what i'm saying i seen that nigga coughing up his blood yeah and, I, and so y'all watched me die and cheered it on and i was like if that was a dog that somebody stabbed like that in the club it would have been a fucking catastrophe like sorry people just keep texting me and stuff like that on both phones but the way that y'all cheered on O Block for killing FBG Duck, and the way that y'all sing along to King Von, Lil Dirt, and Chief Keith smoking on Tuka, bro, y'all would have more empathy for a dog than y'all would do for them black boys. Man, they killed FBG Duck on camera, and they was mocking it and laughing it and sharing it. If that was a dog, that them niggas were standing over shooting multiple times, just standing over duck shooting and killing him, man. And y'all had no empathy. But if he did that to a dog, it would have been all hell on this earth. That video would have got taken down. But since it's a black man, that video still lives and gets shared. And people celebrated watching eating popcorn. Are y'all not entertained? 
And so that is my resentment towards dogs for real life. If that was a dog instead of FBG duck, all y'all would have been outraged. But since it was a nigga from Chicago, y'all don't give one fuck. It's entertainment to y'all. And so that's my resentment towards I, all the fucking puppy love. And so that's why. If y'all seen the video. And so everything that I be passionate about, I'm just giving y'all the like, like why, like, and so, and so when I speak, and I'm like, he sound mad, and I be passionate about this shit, bro. And so when y'all talking about, um, don't celebrate holidays, I'm the same people shared that song with them niggas disrespecting my nephew, my dead nephew. And so when this, it's some grand rising niggas, I seen like man, they the smoke duck doing some real step. I said it was a grand rising guy, but then you would correct somebody from saying good morning grand rising, but you just celebrate this young boy getting his life took. And so I just don't like y'all. I just don't like if you say grand rising to me, don't talk to me for real. And I'm not gonna stop cussing. I don't want y'all to think I'm more than what I am. I am not a preacher, bro. I am not a prophet. That's just a name given to me when I was gang banging, bro, and rapping. And so. Nah, I'm not going to stop cussing. One, I like cussing. And two, I don't want y'all to think I'm a preacher or a pastor or I don't want to be in y'all holding and dial circles talking about thy should not do that, thy should not do this, knowing we do a whole bunch of bullshit but nitpick. And I don't like when people use scripture just to point out other people's shit instead of using scripture to correct our own BS, bro. And so every time I say scripture says, it ain't telling you not to do nothing. Now, one time, y'all can go through my page and when I say scripture says, it ain't one one time I'm saying something you shouldn't do. It'd be like something like scripture said, try, uh, be great. What is I got it right here. It says, consider it all but joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you fall through various trials, be assured that it's testing your faith through experience and it, it produces endurance and spiritual maturity and inner peace. And so when I break down scripture, it's like that. Like, okay, you might be going through that, but scripture says, be grateful that you're going through that because it's maturing you, it's bringing you better in the spirit so you could be an example to help other people. Or when I say scripture says, you know, our thoughts become things so we can't dwell and focus on that. That's stuff we should do. Like, that's just shit. It ain't that I should not do this. That I should not celebrate that. that no, man, get the fuck out of here because we do so much bullshit and then the die we don't do we point out what somebody else doing and you religious niggas like that i despise if you leave with me with nah, should not man you would never get another con i don't want to be around you i don't want to talk to you if i say good morning you say grand rising you would sorry about that somebody called me why well, i'm gonna lie You're using your platform to do this, man. I, I just document my truth. I ain't on here like using my platform. I, I don't even look at it. I'm using my platform to do that, man. I'm documenting my truth, bro. I'm di If I cuss, I'm going to cuss. If, I, I, if I'm being a father, I'm going to be a father. I, I'm documenting. I'm not on here trying to seem perfect. I don't want y'all to think I'm perfect and don't cuss and like this and and... Don't have sex and not, and not married or just all that. I do all that, bro. I don't want y'all to think I'm more than what I am. And then y'all meet me in real life like, damn, this nigga prophet cussing everything. Like, nah, y'all, what y'all see on this is who I really am. You feel me? And so, nah, I'm not about to be on here. I'm not a preacher. I do not want to deal with all them religious niggas, bro. I, will, I do not want to be a fucking preacher, bro. No, I don't. I'd rather be in the a, in a communities that really need it doing real work. So, yeah. Uh, what else I had to talk about? What else I had to talk about? That's about everything, man. That's about everything. Yeah, but I'm out, man. I appreciate everybody who tuned in, man. Shout out to all the world, uh, cast offs worldwide. Once again, you don't know what a cast off is. A cast off is being who you are, even when it's unpopular, when your thoughts, what you stand for is different in the crowd. And everybody who left them comments about, I should not celebrate that. When I said we're doing a one nation to Christ, feeding kids and sponsoring sports leagues and sponsoring tutoring in the community, ain't none of them niggas helped. 
ain't none of them came or none of them niggas shared or nothing. But soon as it's something you disagree with, I shall not celebrate a holiday. That's why it's so offensive that y'all give y'all opinion. But when y'all see something good that you could be a part of, you niggas just sit back and critique. You sit back and critique, bro. Like, I just don't like it. Not even crit criticize. And so, man, and so if I say good morning, you say grand rising, just don't talk to me. For real, man. Like, for, like it like, for real. Because I don't like you, man. I don't. I just don't, bro. You ain't a part of what, if you thinking that deep, you not thinking about helping people, man. Because helping people ain't deep. For real. Serving ain't deep. But all that stuff, that that deep shit, I ain't never seen a deep person really doing something for somebody else. For real. But I'm out, man. I know I offended everybody. I I, I pray. I if I didn't lose a, at least a hundred followers on Instagram, I didn't do my job. Like if 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 I didn't lose a hundred followers on Instagram, I didn't do my job with this. So I hope that made clear and like I hope you know, whoever, I hope some people got some from it. And I hope I offended a lot of people. And I hope a lot of people turned against me about this. But, man, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm out, man. And if y'all want to see this video again, because it ain't going to be, po like, it's not going to uh, stay up, I'm going to post it on YouTube. So if y'all subscribe to my YouTube um, and want to watch it, it's going to be on my YouTube. So I appreciate everybody tuned in. Shout out to the Autocast, those worldwide. One us. And I'm out.